Hey, Adalo makers, I wanted to take a moment to go over the Google Maps static API. And this uh, serves a very specific purpose, but I think it's really useful actually uh, when you just want to display like a preview of a location. And I'll show what I mean. Um, in the video before this one, we actually looked at how to set up uh, linking to navigation and things with maps. Um, and so I kind of have a list here. We're not going to be using this screen in this video. Uh, but what we are going to be doing is we are going to be looking at the list of locations here that I have. Um, again, I've just got in my database a collection of locations, and I've got a location property here. Uh, I've already got in my settings, I've got a Google API key uh, input here. If you don't know how to get a Google API key, I will put a link to the video on how to get one uh, in the top right of this video so that you can check that out first. Um, but once you've got your Google API key, you will actually need that uh, to do this. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use the Google static API to generate an image of a marker on a map and place it here in this, uh, in the, in the image, uh, placeholder of the location in this list. So, um, if you've ever tried to use the, the you know the maps component before that we have, um, it's really really handy for displaying uh, uh, you know places and locations. Uh, but one of the things that you can't actually do with this is you can't really you know round the edges of this and you know make a list out of it and things like that. Um, and it's really dynamic, right? The the user can kind of use their thumb and they can they can pan around inside this little viewport and explore anywhere they want to, right? Um, but sometimes I don't want to do that. Sometimes I just want to display a specific marker in a specific location and, you know, just to give the user a preview of where this, uh, this location actually is. Um, and we can do that using the Google Maps static API. So I've got a location selector input here. Uh, I've got a save location button, and all this does is just create a location. Uh, it does not fill in the name. I'm not even using the name. Uh, I'm just taking uh, the location inputs value and saving it in that location property there, all right? Uh, so to do this, let me go and add another property here in the locations collection. This is going to be a text property, and this is going to be the map uh, image URL, okay? And... I'm going to go ahead and set the left section of this list to be the uh, a, a to be an actual URL, and the URL is we're going to use some magic text here. This is just going to be the current location's map image URL, right? Um, and you may not be using this in a list. Maybe you have a detail page, right? And you just want to insert, uh, you know, just a regular image, right? Uh, maybe they select the location first and are sent to another page and you want to display the, you know, the preview with an image. It works the exact same way, right? You're just going to set the URL. You'll have the, the current location here and you can set it to be that, uh, that text property that we just made, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, I've got a link to the Google Maps platform documentation for this Maps static API. Uh, I'll link this in the description below. Uh, this thing is extensive, okay? It's it's very easy to get lost in this because there's so many different things that you can do with it. As you can see here, you can like change the, you know, the, the tagging uh, of the of the little pins here. You can change the colors, the little uh, letters that are on them, all kinds of crazy stuff that you can do with this. You can change the the styling of the map, make it a dark, dark theme map if you want. We're not going to get into all that. That's outside the scope of this video. But what I am going to show you is kind of how to structure this. So uh, I'm going to go over here and click on get started. And you will see here that it gives us kind of a base URL here that we can start with. Okay, so I'm going to take this here. And these parameters are going to be how we tell Google what we want to show in this map image, right? Um, and this this URL is actually the the source URL for the image, right? Normally we're referencing the database for an image or some external URL. We're gonna do the exact same thing with this, okay? So I'm just gonna copy this. We'll go over to our save button here. And in this map image URL, I'm just gonna paste this, this URL here, okay? Now this question mark tells me that I'm going to put some parameters after this, uh, you know, after this URL. 
Um, but we need to f- kind of figure out what those parameters should be. And the Google documentation, uh, it's, it's quite extensive, as I said, but I'm going to show you kind of the basic ones to get started with. Um, we, we have to absolutely have this one, okay, the size. It says it's required. And this is going to define the rectangular dimensions of the map image, all right? So uh, typically, um, I don't recommend going any smaller than 180. Uh, I would probably choose somewhere between 200 and 400, um, depending on your usage. And you can play around with this, right? This is uh, nothing is set in stone. Uh, just kind of tinker with it and figure out what looks best to you. Um, but I'm probably going to start with something around 200 by 200. And then the other thing that we can use that we're going to actually incorporate here is this scale parameter. And the scale parameter, you can think of this like uh, we've taken, you know, if we're doing 200 by 200 pixel image, uh, we're going to scale that up by two, right? So it's still a 200 by 200 image. It just has twice the number of, uh, the twice the resolution as a part of that image. Um, and you can see this here in these kind of, in the scale value example that it's, that it's, uh, showing here. So it's saying, you know, uh, if you reduce the size of a 200 and 200 by 200 pixel image to only 0.7 of an inch, uh, they can be too small to read, right? So here's the original image. If you scale it up on a, on a screen, these sections here can get kind of blocky, right? They're, they're pixelated. So if you use the scale parameter, you say 150 by 150, but I want to scale up the resolution of that image by two. Uh, then you get this nice, very clear image. Um, so I, I always like to include this scale equals two uh, on my images. All right. So that's the, that's the other one that we're going to use. Let me just get back to this here. So we're going to use size, we're going to use scale. And then the last thing is that we basically have to tell uh, Google what, where this location is. And to do that, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. You can either uh, uh, specify the center, which is just going to center the map on a point, but there will no, be no marker there, that little kind of red pin, if you will, to mark the location. All right, so you can do it that way. Or in my preferred way of doing it is to use this markers parameter here. So that this is what we're going to look at now is we're going to, do, to tell Google, hey, drop the pin right here and I want you to show the pin in the image, okay? So let's start uh, placing some of these in here. I'm going to start with this size parameter. So we're going to just go back to our, our link here and I'm going to type in size and I'm going to put in 200 by 200 and I'm going to put in the ampersand symbol because that shows that tells Google that we're trying to combine parameters right um, we're using size and something else in this case it's going to be scale and I'm going to say scale equals two and then we're also going to tell it the marker location so I'm going to put in another uh, ampersand symbol here and I'm going to put in markers and you can include multiple markers if you want. Um, again, we're not going to get, it's, I don't want to get too uh, deep into this and into all the different ways that you can do it. You can go and kind of read how to construct this, these URLs yourself. Uh, but essentially, the markers parameter also has parameters itself. So you can change the size of the marker. You can change the scale of the marker. You can change the color, right? The label that's on the marker, all that sort of stuff that we're not going to get into. But the main thing that I want to do here is I want to define the location for this for this uh, for this parameter. So I'm going to click on this map static API markers, and we're going to get some more information about how to do that. All right. So you can see here the markers parameter takes a set of value assignments, and all I have to do is say markers equals, and then put the marker location uh, that I want to display here. So I'm going to go back to my demo here. We're going to say and markers equals, and then we're just going to put in the uh, the other the location inputs uh, latitude. You can also use full name and address here, but uh, just know that it's going to use extra API credits because it's going to have to geocode uh, the address that you put in first and then return it right. If I just put in latitude and longitude, you're going to get faster results and it's going to use less API credits to do this. So this is why I like to use latitude and longitude. We're going to say latitude. 
I'll put in a comma here, and then I'll put in the other component's location input longitude. And remember that other components, uh, this other component's location input is from whatever we select here, okay? So essentially what we're doing is we're, we are constructing a, an image URL for this location, all right? Um, so we've got our maps uh, base URL, the size, we're defining the scale, and we're telling it what the, where those markers should be or where that marker in this case should be, okay? So I'll click done on that. So now um, we can pre, well, actually, hold on. There's one more uh, actual parameter that we need to add to this, actually, before I forget, uh, that's actually really important. Uh, and if you click on the action again and go to the map image URL, we're going to add one more parameter here, and this is for our API key. Okay, so I'm going to put and key equals, and then I'm just going to paste my API key here. Okay, so once we've got the API key there, uh, we are pretty much good to go. I'm going to do just a quick thing here just so that we can see it uh, a little bit bigger here. But on the click action for this list item, I'm actually just going to link to a new screen. And we will actually make this an info screen, I think. Yes. All right. And let's grab this screen. And I want to make this the uh, kind of the, you know, the, the location preview. So I'm just going to make this kind of like a square... Um, we'll try and make this as even as possible and we'll make this rounding. We'll turn this rounding up, maybe add a border, eh, whatever you want. It's fine. Okay, cool. So we've got like a little, uh, a little preview here. Um, and we're actually going to make this the, the current locations or I'm sorry, we're going to make this the, the URL. We're going to set it to kind of the same thing that we did for the list. So this is going to be the current locations, uh, map image URL. Um, and I do want to say that you can also construct the URL right here as well. You don't have to save it as a part of the record like we did with this button, right? Um, you can actually, you know, the same way that we constructed the URL in the action, you can actually just construct it right here, right? Just put the, you know, HTTPS, uh, you know, maps, static API URL right here, and then just add all the parameters onto it. Um, and that makes it, that does actually make it a little bit easier to change. Uh, and that way, if you do need to make a, a change to it or you want to customize it differently in the future, you don't have to go through your database and change all the URLs. You just change it right here um, and then display the latitude and longitude uh, right here in this, uh, in, in this URL field, okay? So let's, uh, let's give this a quick preview really quick. And I'm just going to search for the university in my hometown here. I'll save this as a location. And you can see that it gives me like a nice little uh, kind of, uh, uh, I guess, preview image of that, uh, that pin. And if I click on this, you can see that there's a bigger, there's kind of a bigger preview of it, right? So we're using that API URL that we constructed as the source of that image. So it's pretty cool. You're able to kind of build in these dynamic uh, but static uh, images of a map, right? I can't click inside this, uh, right? I can't click inside and move it around. It's just kind of showing me, here's where it is. These are the things around it. Here's some you know, labels and roads and things like that that go with it, okay? So that's how you can quickly, you know, and pretty easily add uh, these static pr uh, map previews to your apps.